guys. Uh, today we're going to be talking about a species that I'm thinking not a lot of people will know about. Um, we've actually got a saw from one of these in the front of our shop. We'll have a look at it just now. This is the sawfish and specifically the large tooth sawfish. Now we get three species here in our sort of region. Um, this is the one that's probably most commonly caught. Um, the scientific name Pristus microdon. Now the species is pretty much endangered. I have never seen one personally myself. They used to be a lot more common. People used to see them coming into Cozy Bay and things like that. That recently with, I mean we could blame a whole host of things, but they really are very, very rare. If you do ever manage to catch one of these, please, please get it back into the water safely. Also comment down below if you've ever seen one or ever caught one, put it there. Uh, it'd be nice to see, get a bit of a record of uh, which of our viewers have actually been able to see one of these fish. Now, okay, so the sawfish gets its name from its long protruding nose. So it's basically, if we're going to break it down, it's basically a sand shark. So your same sand shark body, very similar fins, a more browny sandy color overall. Very similar body structure, everything like that. It's going to have a nose that's very, very elongate. So the nose itself is normally got, I think it's 17 to 22 teeth on each side. So the teeth run all the way along and it uses that, that nose that sticks out like that. It will swim and almost like a, a sailfish or a marlin. We actually use it to swipe side to side and that can incapacitate its prey and also in a defense mechanism it will be able to to hit um, whatever is attacking it with, with that bull. bull. Um, overall size wise they've been recorded up to 6.6 .6 meters. You can just think about that, that's obviously including the bull. That is a phenomenally big fish. Uh, they are very, very beautiful species. They're nice and they, they're quite placid around, uh, obviously placid around people until you're going to be pulling them by the tail or doing stuff, then it can be quite dangerous. So if you do catch one, be careful at the front. Um, but you'll handle them with care. In terms of records, we do get them worldwide. Yeah, in South Africa, it's pretty much Mozambique down to Port Alfred, I think it's the furthest south. They are, they do get them in Australia and all and across in America and there are still fairly okay populations there but they are, even those places, they're very rare catches. So they've obviously struggled with whether it's pollution or overfishing, gill netting, netting itself, it's, something's affecting them quite badly. It might be the health of the estuaries, because they do like coming into estuaries. So estuary health often affects species that we don't even think of. Anyway, they matured about three and a half meters, also a very, very big fish, that's including the, the snout. And yeah, they targeting wise, it's, it's gonna be a, a real fish of many lifetimes. So if you do manage to catch one, it's probably going to be while targeting something else, so more than likely targeting your sandies and other inedibles. But yeah, the sawfish, very very beautiful species. They are very strong, but much like a sandy, similar kind of behavior. And like I said, very similar, just with that long, very distinctive snout. As you'll see, we'll put a picture up of that, uh, that snout. But yeah, the sawfish. Cheers guys.